Hey guys, what's going on? Killitsync54 here, and after a very, very long weekend of straight gaming, I went through pretty much two full prestiges this weekend doing that double XP on Nuketown, and today I'm bringing you some gameplay from it because I was actually really excited. I really enjoyed the 24 7 Nuketown because it seems like when you do TDM or any sort of game type, you really don't get Nuketown that often, and then when people do get Nuketown, they'll play it the two times that you can max it out to play it. And then they won't, you won't see that map for a while. You'll get stuff like Firing Range, Summit, maps like that all the time. But you really won't get Nuketown. So I just did 24-7 Nuketown this whole weekend. Got mad double XP. Literally went from level 47 on the 9th. No, from the 8th Prestige. And I'm already the 10th Prestige, level 45. And I'm still going. So I just felt like doing this commentary because this was my best. My best. Hands down match. This whole time. Hands down best match. You guys are looking at it right now. I'm dying a couple times. You might be like, what the hell is he talking about? No. Look at the fucking title. <laughs> the title says it all. This match is retarded. No joke. No hacks. All legit. You guys know I'm legit. You're watching my videos. You know I do this. And if you don't know I'm legit, add me. Come play in my lobbies. Because I am. And not just that. Tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading another short clip. I actually did this kind of a game two times this weekend. In the same day. So, I think it's amazing that I did it two times in the, in the same weekend, let alone the same day. So, I'm going to be uploading another one. You guys will even see the names of the individuals in the game. They're different. So, they're two different lobbies, two different games. And I hope you guys are happy because, honestly, I'm really happy. I feel very confident about my gameplay, and I know my true potential. And you guys, I'm glad you guys are seeing this because you guys will know my true potential. And I hope you take this. Show your friends. Get my name out there and be like, oh, my God, this guy is sick. He went fucking, like hella high and got like so good I just want you guys to you know see what I'm capable of because I feel that I'm better than the average gamer and you know what I just maxed out this game this is my most kills ever so if you even look at my combat record this is my most kills ever it is ridiculous it is so cool it is so freaking nuts and it's better than most MLG Pro and even before I had such a high kill game like this I only had a 138 most kill game and right here, watch this, guys. It's retarded. I get killed by my own dog. It bites me in the freaking back of the neck. It's like when good pets go bad. It was so retarded. I was so mad. But we got the end of the round going. And it was pretty nice because I was in such a strong lobby. We could control how long we wanted the match to go. So we would be like, ah, let them plant. Okay, we let them plant. They would blow up one. And we'd be able to hold down that other one. They would not be able to plant it, which was really nice and convenient because this made the game last a little longer and it allowed me to get more kill streaks and allowed me to do a lot better and just rack up that most kill game, which was wicked nice. And it's just, it comes down to the people that you play with. Because everybody that you play with, they, they could be bad, they could have a low KD, a low win-loss. But if you communicate well and you guys have a good strategy and you work well together, you're just going to come on top no matter what. Like, you're just running through. We spawn camp these kids like it's nothing. Just running in and taking them out, getting those kill streaks up. You know, the Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, Dogs. That's all I ran with this whole weekend because, I'm sorry, I know you guys may want to see other kill streaks, but... Nothing works better for getting high kill games like this, especially in game types like Demolition and Domination and Headquarters. Headquarters, the spawns are all whacked and messed up and stuff like that, but for Domination and Demolition, they're pretty straightforward. Whatever flag or position they're closest to is where they spawn at. Demolition, they, no matter what, they spawn at that one end, and it's, it's really easy to spawn camp people, so you just... Either if you're getting spawn kills, you want to watch out for that, or if you're doing the spawn killing, you want to know where they're going to be at. So... It's all about getting that kill streak up and just making sure that everything works well. I've got a few friends that were in this lobby, like One Hitter Quitter, Lieutenant Sniffles, and Alex, so they can definitely vouch for me. And I'm gonna have One Hitter Quitter a little later on, you know, get on the mic and let you guys know this. This was legit. I, I don't know how else to put it. This, in particular, I did it through the, the theater mode, so it kind of cuts the gameplay short, which was stupid. But I do have other proofs of showing you guys my most kills. So if you need to, fast forward to the end. I really don't care. Watch my video. Enjoy it. Whatever. But this game in particular stops at 179. But if you look at the actual theater mode map, it says my recent games. I highlighted it. It says I have 232 kills and it said we drawed. We had a draw, but we really won this game. And then when I look at my combat record, it says most kills ever was 259. So this is all legit. I don't know why the theater mode cut this game off, 
it stopped it at 12 minutes and 44 seconds and that's why this clip is only about 11 minutes long it's because i just fast forwarded through the chopper gunners and stuff like that but i just i was so bummed because this is where me and one hitter quitter both maxed out our most kills in this one game so it was just complete bs that the theater mode did us dirty like that but nothing you can really do other than you know, I'm trying to prove it to you guys the best way possible, and that's by bringing you this gameplay, showing you how great it was, and even at the end, you'll see how it stops when I'm at the garage about to kill some dude with time left on the clock. So, I don't know, just get, you guys gotta watch, you gotta judge for yourself, and like I said, even if you need to, look at my combat record, you know, you'll see my KD, you'll see my win-loss, you'll see my most kills, it's all there, you know, the Black Ops freaking history and everything like that does not lie, you cannot change that or modify that in any way shape or form what is there is what you've really done so you guys cannot fake that and i hope you know that so this game was ridiculously fun i i've never had this much fun just popping chopper gunners like it's nothing and that's why i wanted to fast forward it through you guys because i'd have like three minutes of chopper gunners for this freaking game it is just retarded but i just want you guys to know i did this 100 percent legit i've got another video coming out tomorrow with a similar similar like KD similar high it's a really it's in the triple digits I'll say that I don't want to ruin it for you guys but it's in the triple digits pretty much on Nuketown anything other than TDM I went really high I got my KD up about 0.1 the whole time so I went from like a 0.257 to a 2.62 ish so you know I got it up relatively high and it was really nice and I've been getting my win loss up a couple points you know point zero four which is not that much but for win loss it's kinda hard to get up because you have to play a lot of matches right there with the wall hacks you know I really don't have wall hacks it's just a blackbird if you guys really use your UAV like I do when I tell you to use it you would know where the guys are UAV blackbird you see a red dot through that wall just spray it up and you'll eventually hit them you get hit markers keep the freaking bullets going that's what extended mags are for and scavenger stupid people that don't know how to knife you just turn around and cap them in the face but right here is where I mainly spawn camp because you know they're spawning right there by those fences and what you do is you just sit there and run around in a circle you know wait for them to pop up and gun them down as soon as you see them you know they don't know what hit them until last second they're down on the ground in second chance like little girls and you just keep gunning them so when it comes to this you guys just remember it's legit I don't BS any of this I want you guys to see what I am truly capable of. This is me at my best, you know, truly shining, showing you guys what I am going to do when I'm bringing to the table, and this is all for you guys, and I hope you really enjoy this. I'm actually going to be doing some game battles with some friends and all that, so I'm going to be bringing you guys some game battle matches, switching it up with some player matches with my man Food Stamps. You know, me and him just started playing together recently. We were kind of uh, doing our thing on Double XP Weekend Nuketown. I appreciate his shout out. Thank you so much again, man. I I cannot thank you enough for that. It was just it helped me out. It got me like 50 subscribers. It's retarded. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys some team matches with him, and I hope you guys will really enjoy those. Maybe some dual comms in the future, some zombies and stuff like that. We've got a few gameplays like that coming up, but. I just want you guys to know that I'm doing this 100% legit and it just bugs me out that I cannot show you guys the whole match. It made me so mad because it recorded all other matches fully. It doesn't make sense, but like I said, you cannot mess with the Call of Duty, like the combat record. You cannot modify that. So what is there is what's there. And there's no way in hell I went like five games in the triple digits. I mean, I've done a bunch of games in the triple digits, but I'm talking like 200 plus. So you guys definitely know it's all the same game. So right now I'm just going to hand it over to my man, one hitter quitter. He's going to confirm this for you guys. Just so you know, I'm not shitting you. He was in the lobby. Even Lieutenant Sniffles was there. Anybody, ask them all. They'll confirm it. So here's one hitter quitter. Hi everyone, it's your boy One Hitter Quitter, and what Killer Tank 54 said is 100% legit. Dude straight up went 200. Now listen, 259 kills. That is just freaking insane. It's trying to say he has like only like 200 and like I don't know 32 or something. But this dude, I'm telling you, 259 kills. Myself, I had an 87 kill uh, game, and it's trying to tell me how many had 69. So I don't know what they're talking about, but. I'm also a player doing uh, game battles with uh, Killer Tank 54. Uh, look forward to future videos, and I'm handing you to my man 50 uh, Killer Tank 54, 100% legit kill.
Yeah, so as you guys saw right there real fast, it, it just stopped, and that's where the game cut off. And if you can read right there, put this shit, 1080p, I record my matches so you guys can read this stuff. 259 is, like, crazy. Right there, it only says 232 and 20. I don't know why it cut it off, and it said draw, when clearly there was way more to the match to go. So right now, I'm going to my combat record, showing you guys the actual the stats. At the top, it says 259 for most kills. You can't fake this. There's no way possible to modify this, guys, and I cannot stress that to you. I scrolled down to show you, but I kind of went past it. My actual score for this game was 13,475, my most scoring game ever. So, please, guys, this is the video I want my name to get out there with because I know what I'm capable of. So, please, show it to your friends and like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.